Honey, you expect me to have all the appetite in the world, in spite of what's happening around me. You can have all the appetite, not me. Hilda, are you still bothering your head with Sally's issue? Isn't that girl more than a nightmare? Just look at it. Our only daughter getting pregnant before getting admission to the university. No, Mike. How do I face the world? No, she will not have that child. Hida, what do you want us to do? Eh? What well, the doctors have advised that is dangerous to abort? Then we must live with the shame. A shame, not ours! You don't know what you're talking about. Just look at it. How do I look before my friends who have attended the children's weddings? How do I parry the pastor that's a grandson? And where are you going, madam? I'm going to the birthday. Whose birthday? To come this birthday. And who invited the black sheep of this family to a gathering of distant and forward-looking children? Tell me, what are you going to tell your contemporaries? People who are not as brilliant as you are, but now undergraduates, that you're carrying the world, President Bastard? Birthday party, my foot. <gasps> Hi, sis. Is back from school? Yeah. And what are you doing all alone? I see if there's any other person to talk to around here. Hasn't mom seized her outburst on you? <laughs> it's getting worse by the day. Oh, well, I feel like dying. I feel like just leaving this world. So, Sally, stop talking to us. Challenges come to all humans in various forms and degrees. We have to surmount to them. Look, it is only human to make mistakes. And when we do, we learn from it and move on with our lives. This I have told mom severally, but I don't know if she Why just... She only listen to her voice. And I'm sure what her voice is telling her is to break me. It's to ridicule me. God, I have never seen such hatred in all my life. Do you know that <laughs> each morning she come into my room and ask me, how is your bastard doing? Really? But, but why is mom behaving this way? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it's not like the baby doesn't have a father. It's just that the father wasn't man enough or rather boy enough to accept his responsibility. Instead, he bolted abroad. But, his folks did accept the responsibility. Why does mom use such derogatory terms? <sighs> does dad know about this? Does the word of dad come to this house? Where is the cook? He has not come back from the gas table. And that gave you the audacity to mess up with my meal? I forbid you henceforth to touch any food in this house until that thing you are carrying is deposited in an orphanage! That would never be possible, Mommy. Mommy, why are you so wicked to me? I mean, 
which kind of mother will banish her only daughter for months on end just because of a human error? Human error? You call your promiscuity human error? Just hear what the juvenile delinquent is offering! I am not a delinquent. Then who are you? What are you, madame? Weren't you on drugs before this latest shameful act? Yes, I was on drugs, but I was never ever an addict. Besides, have you ever been there for me? Didn't I have to experiment with life from the little express I could gather from the males around me? Yes, I am pregnant, but what is so shameful in being pregnant? Will you extend that your own Will you shut up? I am your mother, you don't talk to me like that!
Joe is gone, you know. <laughs> Have you checked her room? Yes. Did you check the living room downstairs? See my destination. I can hear my call. Thank you, Mom, for being there. No more hesitation. A second chance at life. This time I'm going to Thank you, God. You make him make first class. Cause I know this where this road leads to. And therefore I will ride. Hello? Yes, I want everybody there. Is that understood? Fine. Ah, ah. I thought you should be at the uh, at teacher's meeting by now. I'm not under any obligation to the country. Besides, I'm doing the fire. I was only waiting for October to be fully awake. Oh, wow. Uh, is he going with you? Didn't you see him in the car? Oh, this is I saw it uh, in the front seat of the car. He didn't like driving like this. That boy is so in love with car rides. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll see you later. I won't be home. Uh, is Bob around? He's not back from the hospital. Why? The, the drugs that he prescribed for me. I've looked for you in all the pharmacies in town, but I couldn't find any. <laughs> I'm still skeptical about your son prescribing for you. What is your reason? Nothing really, just emotional factor. Honey, that emotional factor stuff does not hold water with me. Bob knows my medical history very well. And he's a cool little guy. Why would I need another doctor? Huh? Look, I'm not down with all this uh, uh, father cannot be a son special thing. You, you just, I wanna, look, let's forget about it. Right now, I am so, so hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Sally's around, she'll serve your food for you. I'll see you later, darling. Uh, Hilda. What is it again? Uh, see, I, I've been thinking. Uh, instead of firing all those uh, teachers, why don't you convert it to suspension? There is no room for compromise. I'll see you, darling. Where's Richard? I don't know. I called him a little while ago. I told you he'd be here. Probably his boss is keeping him. That's not impossible. Hmm. A guy who doesn't observe lunch break. Accountants are frugal people. But Richard is one and he's not frugal. Well, I'm talking about real old school accountants here, honey. <laughs> oh my god, the MD just sent me a meal. What does he want? Another lunch date? Probably. He only said I should come down. <sighs> Listen, tell him this is lunch time and you're hanging out with your friends. Just ignore the whole fool. You know I cannot. The boss cannot be ignored. So in other words, you're going to allow yourself to succumb to his pressures after all? I haven't indicated such traits. Neither can I be railroaded into doing what it is I don't want to do. Anyway, if you guys do not see me within the next five or ten minutes, you guys can go. And where would you be? Oh, 
my darling. Ah, how are you? Mm. <laughs> Mm. You're not um, eating any food yourself? No. I'll probably just get some snacks when I get to school. <laughs> you, your mother, are snacks. <laughs> uh, so do you have a lecture today? Yes, just one course and then I'm free for the day. Mm. So, after your master's, what is the next day? Next day? My PhD. Dad, you know I love the academics. Oh, no doubt about that. I'm actually at home with your uh, PhD and other uh, professional pursuits. But my concern is that uh, there's a vacuum. And nature about a vacuum. Huh? I mean, why, why, why don't you get a man in your life before you uh, chase after your other academic pursuits? Dad. What is the connection between romantic commitment and academic accomplishment? Oh, you want me to tell you? Yes, that's what I'm asking. All right, here we go. See, in this part of the world, men shun women who are up there. You know, I mean, the ivory tower. And the statistics are there, my dear. What statistics? Statistics are verifiable. <laughs> ah! See who we have here. Are you guys discussing me? Okay. And why not? I mean, since you have left this house uh, yesterday now for your duty call, you have not deemed this freedom proper to actually call to tell me what has been keeping you away. Oh, I'm so sorry, Dad. I called Mom a couple of minutes ago. Oh, and have you called Dad? Well, let's please the women first. Men's war forever. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, all right, all right. All right, I'm convinced because of the Gender affinity. Oh, that's it. I'm done. Uh, beautiful sis, I won't mind doing what dad's doing. Really? So where do I come in since it's such a male-dominated world? Hmm? But just what would this world be without you women? <laughs> oh, great, the great Amazons. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, all right. I have to go now. What I would like to know is if it will be out of place for me to ask you out to lunch. No, sir. Don't be officials with me. I want to know the both of us as two individuals if it will be out of tune for me to ask you out. Well, no. Would the age difference have anything to do with this? Well, I did honor a last minute lunch invitation from you the last time, even at the expense of my colleagues who I usually have lunch with. Even right now, they're waiting for me in the office. Mm. It's quite laudable. I wish I had colleagues like that. You are the top man. So, I should not benefit from lunchtime with my colleagues? I didn't say so. Hmm. So, who are these lucky colleagues of yours who monopolize your lunch hour every day? There are several of us. And prominent among these, your lunchtime bodies would be Jonathan and Richard. Sir, have you been spying on us? and submitted before the end of the day. Luckily, I was able to escape now to having a meeting with one of the heads of the department. Mr. Elder, when you have to be punctual, this would have happened. What happened? A bastard someone who will be waiting for you. A bastard? Yes, you're hoping to take MD. <laughs> oh, you almost got me scared then. You made me think something horrible might have happened to Zelda. What could be more horrible than a poor helpless girl being primitively sexually harassed right under our noses and we can't do anything about it? Oh, to help us. Chill out. Relax. What really happened? He just someone there in his office just like he did the other day and compelled it to have lunch with him. I'm sure he's in there right now trying to do the very same thing. That is... You know what? What? That guy might be in there trying to harass Zelda right now. Listen, we need to act fast. Whoa, 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 whoa. What do you mean act 
We need to stop this madness. And if you're not going to partake, I'll do it alone. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna barge in there and tell him that he's a piece of shit. Oh, oh what's going to you? Have you got a new job or something? Well, to hell with the job. <laughs> Man, I, I, I just don't think Zelda's gonna share your sentiments. Moreover, I don't think she's that sort of little girl who can't handle herself in situations like this. Assuming the motive is real. I knew that you'd be too preoccupied with job security to care about the plight of others. That's not fair on me. If in the next minute Zelda is not here, I'm going to party in there and see what's going on with her. No, I have not been spying on you guys. Just curiosity. Who did that to my curiosity? So, do you have an intimate relationship with any of these guys? No, but we are especially close. Your sincerity is quite exceptional. It's one of the things that first attracted me to you. That and your childlike innocence and core values. But I ask myself again and again, would I be able to give up this chase? You have to. Reasons? Varied. Like? You're married, either happily or unhappily. The mistress stuff does not appeal to me. Divorce or polygamy is totally out of the question. Age can be overlooked where the feelings are neutral because it's nothing but numbers anyway. So what's left? Um, um, uh, sorry sir, I just came to let her know that we are still waiting for her. But I thought I told you guys that you can leave without me if you don't see me after a while. You guys can go. I'll see you at the end of the day. Okay. Sir, perhaps you will forgive the indiscretion of a friend. Mm -hmm.